Dan, thanks for having us here at, uh, at your academy. It's really nice to be here and actually chat to you about some of your achievements that you've mm -hmm. had over the years. So, first one, uh, tell me about some of your achievements that uh, have led you to winning the, uh, the Outstanding Personal Achievement Award. Uh, yeah, first of all, I, you know, welcome to the Generate Academy. Uh, yeah, this has been one of my most uh, biggest achievements, I'd say, even though, you know, we've had such a, you know, a now long, maybe too long, uh, sport and career myself. You know, starting pre London 2012, uh, running into becoming uh, a Paralympic athlete in London 2012, and then, you know, going through uh, all kinds of different transitions to different sports, um, doing a bit in athletics, uh, now doing a bit in rowing, uh, breaking the world record this year in rowing, uh, off the back of uh, competing in Tokyo last year as well. So, uh, quite a, a varied approach to my my sport and. So you definitely earned it then, I think it's safe to say. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd like to think so. We definitely uh, think so. <laughs> no, I really appreciate the award and, you know, it was, uh, <laughs> it was great to be acknowledged in that way. So what have you been doing since the award for sort of the back end of this year then? Um, so it's been quite a, a, a mental year, to be totally honest with you. It's been a bit up and down. Uh, you know, me and my Roman partner, we broke the world record in Paris early this year in the French Open, uh, ended up winning the French Open in rowing. Uh, and then, um, you know, we have been in full-time rowing training as well uh, as well as you know obviously coaching at mm. this place and we've gone from strength to strength uh, with our members and numbers uh, projects and everything um, you know obviously working with you guys as well um, Fantastic. and developing in that way um, and in just over two weeks time I'll be going to compete in the world championships uh, for judo, which has come as a bit of a surprise, but I've managed to get myself selected for that now as well. So I think it's brilliant news. <laughs> I think we look forward to having everyone will look forward to that. Mm. No, it should be it should be good fun. So yeah, Great. fingers crossed. So knowing what you know now, what mm -hmm. would you have done differently? Uh, in sport. Yeah, in sport. Is um, there something where you think, oh, I really should have done this, or I made a mistake there? And mm, definitely, like you know, I, I think as a younger athlete, I didn't take things for granted. Um, I came in at a time uh, running up to London 2012, all you had to be was the best in the country to get selected as long as you were number one, you know, as a home game, so you get selected uh, if you are the best fit mm -hmm. and I, I knew I was the best fit, I was, you know, the best fit by far, you know, I was picking up minor medals internationally um, and, you know, my counterparts, you know, in, in Britain weren't. So I knew I was that, and, and I remember the, the day that I got told I'd been selected for London 2012, and I was like, well, you know, obviously, you know. And actually now I look back, and I trained like hell to get I'm selected sure. to Tokyo and, and in the position I was now, and I, I think if I would have had a bit of a better attitude towards, you know, my training, my competitions and stuff like that, um, so that's definitely one thing I'd change is if I could speak to younger, less <laughs> experienced, uh, a decade younger Dan, uh, I'd say to, you know, fix up, mate. You, know, <laughs> get a you still do a lot better than I did, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, not, not bad. So what are your plans for the future, then? What's driving you forward? Um, well, I've got, I'm running two careers simultaneously at the moment. I've got my uh, sport and career, which is a little bit um, crazy at the moment. It's sort of intertwined with rowing and judo. At the minute, I'm in a bit of a crossroads. We've got Paris coming up in two years' time. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to figure out what my best, uh, best position is going to be in, in terms of where am I going to get that, that medal, uh, which I need to get in Paris, you know, or medals, be it in rowing, judo, or both. Mm. Uh, but we'll see. I love the way you say, I need to get those. I, I love that. This, this isn't a choice. This isn't an option. This it, is, you need to get them. I it's think that's the brilliant. time. It's, you know, it, it's the time now. I'm 31 years old. I'll be 33 by the time Paris comes along. Um, you know, I've got this business which is growing almost like it's getting to the point now where I can't keep my hands on it. It's starting to expand too much and fall into yep. my sport and career, which is great. You know, it's an amazing, amazing position to be in. Um, However, you know, I, I can't do sport forever. Um, and then when I, you know, my body finally tells me that enough's enough, then I'll fall back on, on this. And this will be, you know, this is my passion anyway, but it'll be my sole yeah. passion. Fantastic. So that's the plan. So here's the big question, though. Do you think you'll be in line for winning next year, the, the Personal Achievement Award? Oh, well, I've got to go and get myself. I've got to do one better than this year, don't I? Oh, of course, yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I only broke a world record in rowing, so, you know, if I can go and smash two weeks' time and... 
and you know compete in uh, compete in Azerbaijan in two weeks at the World Championships. You know, fi I'm fighting upper weight category. Um, I'm very relaxed about the situation. I still know I'm going to be the fittest, strongest, and most deadly human being out there. You know, I'm just I'm, I'm horrible when I'm fighting. Like I've just got this <laughs> second persona where I'm just going to beast mode. Yeah, I think I think a lot of that's been you know growing up like you know in Liverpool and and like sort of having to fight you know through diversity and different things like that as well you know it's it gives you that fight when you step on the mat you just want to tear people up <laughs> and you know that that's the plan I know mentally going into that fight I might not have had anywhere near as much judo training as these people but you can't train what I've got inside me so people are it. having it fantastic <laughs> I know you couldn't make it this year uh, to the Nest uh, Business Awards, mm. but can we see you next year in 2023? Do you think? 100%. Uh, the Brilliant. only reason why I couldn't make it this year, I would have, I would have absolutely loved to come and meet Ross Kemp this year and have a little tussle with him on stage. <laughs> um, but you know, um, it, 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 it was, uh, it was unfortunately, it was my first race of the year over in Italy. Mm -hmm. It was the first race of my career, actually. Um, and you know, it was, it was a massive shame. I actually had a flight booked so I can get home, but unfortunately. It fell the way the uh, the time table fell was in between the semi final and the final. But you know, mm -hmm. this year, fingers crossed, is it May. I'm guessing. Yes, it's um, we, we imagine it's going to be somewhere around there. Yeah, hopefully. So. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah, I'll be there. I suppose one last thing then, if you could nominate someone to win this award next mm -hmm. year, who do you think it would be? Future me. Future you, love Future it. Future me. Okay. <laughs> you know it. what? Perfect. The thing is, I think as an athlete, you always strive to do one better. And like, you know, you look, I, I always look at past me and think, where could I have done better? Mm -hmm. Future me and see where can I do better? And, um, you know, I always like sit in the middle thinking, right, next day I need to be 1% better than today. I woke up this morning, you know, I had a coffee, I jumped onto the rowing machine, did my session, came out, did my weight session, you know, and I'm constantly trying to tick that little bit closer to being better. And, you know, as an athlete, you can't really teach that mentality and some people would look at me and think I was crazy <laughs> but you know that's that's how I live as an athlete as a martial artist and you know you'll never take that away from me so that's brilliant but, yeah. Dan, that's been fantastic thanks for talking to us today thank that's you great. thanks